what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel rj car review it is a beautiful day today oh my god look at that weather nice and sunny so on days like this we got to take advantage of it and we got to work on the car um before i go any further just want to make sure that i say to all you guys out there hope everyone is doing well in these rough times that we're going through um but today i am doing another install on the car um, this is to help wheel hop i actually purchased this let's see where it is it's been sitting here in my garage for believe it or not about a year and a half this thing's been sitting here in my garage and the only reason why it's been sitting in the garage is because before i installed the ibox springs um the car used to get used to wheel hop significantly man like it was horrible not too much in the um, in the summertime because, of course, the tires are warm and you get a better grip in the summer. But closer to like November, December, when I used to drive in and used to try to um, roll out of first gear into second, oh my God, the back end felt like it wanted to drop out. But after I installed the iBox springs, it kind of eliminated it. It um, went away drastically. And I haven't been to the track yet. And I know if, if I go to the track, it's going to happen again because the track is prep, it's stickier and it's going to experience a lot more wheel hop on the roads you don't really feel it but for safety for safety precautions i had it i have it it's been sitting for over a year and a half and i think it's time to install it just in case you know once everything goes back to normal i do plan to take the car to the track and i don't want to have that experience i've experienced wheel hop before and i don't want to go through it at the track and not be able to run the car the way i want to run it so today we're installing bmr vertical length all right so let's do a cold start <laughs> Okay guys, so <clears throat> let's do a quick unboxing. BMR vertical link, uh, rear suspension control arm. Um, this is supposed to help eliminate the wheel hop, bring it down, tone it down um, a whole lot. And there's other suspension components that you could get um, to add on to this and to fully eliminate it. But I think this with the iBox setup that I have, the suspension, uh, sorry, the springs, I think this should um, tone it down significantly. All right, so let's do a quick unboxing. I can't believe I had this sitting in my garage for a whole year and not, not install it. Um, but like I said, the suspension, the springs that I installed uh, definitely helped it out a lot. And so pretty much throw that in the garbage. You got your directions close this knife cut my sh cut my hand off very sharp all right so let's see. pretty much tells you how to install it and this I think this install should take about maybe I want to say 20 minutes to about a half hour all right and then when I pull out the old ones I'm going to show you guys the difference between them you can see this is definitely much thicker looks stronger than the stock ones i haven't pulled out the stock ones so i don't know what it looks like yet so all right so let's let's get the car up in the air and start this installation let's get a jack right here in the back Jacks are in place. You can see it. All right, so 
let's get inside there. So that's the the stock end link right here. Two bolts. I'm not sure exactly what size it is yet. So um, I'm gonna take these bolts out, then pop that out, pop the new one in, and we should be all good. All right. So this is the 15. bar and let me take this off I don't know if that's a good thing that thing came off a little bit too easy I'm not sure what's gonna happen so put my jack there just in case All right, so take these out and it's actually pretty loose. Should be able to come right out. That's the top bolt. All right, guys, so I'm gonna use a screwdriver. I got a um, a long flathead screwdriver. I don't know where the hell my pry bar is. Um, so I'm just gonna use my screwdriver. It's a long, thick head screwdriver. And as you can see, I'm putting it in between here um, and the end link and just kind of pry it out like that and it should come right out there we go it's coming it's coming it's moving but a pry bar would be much better as it's thicker ah uh, comes right out all right so guys can see that comes right out and let's match up the old one the stock one and the new one let's see what it looks like all right guys so here you have it this is your stock end link I keep saying end link sorry vertical link and you got your bmr vertical link and you can see the difference in between the both of them this one the bmr is much thicker than your stock vertical link um even here you have this rubber bushing inside here i'm not sure you can see that you can have that rubber bushing in here where this is this um i'm not sure if it's all aluminum i won't be wrong i don't sound stupid but um you can look up on the website Overall, this is a much better uh, unit um, than your stock uh, vertical link. Um, and this is supposed to help stop the wheel hop from happening. All right, so let's install it. Okay, so pretty much you wanna install the vertical links exactly the same way that you took out the stock ones. Um, this part here, you guys can see that this part goes to the top obviously this part goes to the bottom and where you really we are going to be reusing the same hardware so nothing different all right so you can see went in fairly easy um let's line it right back up exactly the way it was before we're using the same bolts this goes at the bottom and then the top bolt so yeah do just push down on this a little bit push on the brakes a little bit lines right back up and we're all set. And then get my torque wrench and torque it down. All right. So, all right, guys. Sorry about uh, I couldn't show the footage um, of me torquing it, torquing it down. Damn GoPro died. Um, but anyway, so let's compare it again one more time. You see, this is the stock one. You guys could see that so huge difference um, between the huge difference between the stock vertical link and the um, BMR vertical link huge different thickness overall look like this is much more durable um, than your stock one um, this causes a lot of wheel hop and wheel hop could damage your rear end your your your, um, your, your diff it, it could damage a lot, you know, if you don't have the right uh, suspension components to um, eliminate the wheel hop. All right, guys, so I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. This took me about maybe 20 minutes, a little bit longer from, you know, because I'm moving the camera around so I can get the best shots to show you guys how to install it. Um, but the same thing you do on this side is the same thing you're going to do on the opposite side. All right, guys, so finish up with the install of the BMR vertical links. Uh, it was a easy job. I would say about a good 20, maybe a half hour job. 
real easy. First time ever doing it, and one, one, two, three, man. Like I said, it's the easiest install insta installation I've ever done on this car. Um, and I'm gonna test the car out, make sure everything is good, drive it up and down, and see how well it works. Let's go for a quick ride around the block and see what it feels like. Do a quick pull on the highway, see what it feels like. It's exhaust. Oh my God, man. This exhaust sounds so freaking good. Tires need to warm up. Make sure he's on top sitting there before I go. There's a cop coming on the highway. Wow, look at that. As I said that, there's a cop coming on the highway. When these tires are not warm, man, that thing wanna go sideways, boy. I'm trying to see if I get like a first gear or second gear. Let's see what it feels like. All right, let's see. Wow, that shit does squats, boy. Feels so good, man. Yo, I didn't mean to, I didn't want to make this video too long either, but damn, it just squats, man. I got one more, one more right around here. First gear, roll, I'm gonna roll into it. Buddy. Alright, let's try. Try with the traction control off. Let's go on the side road. Make sure there's nobody around. Let's see what it feels like. Traction control off. Let's see. is going into warp. Ties is cold, still kind of cold. So that'd be easy. Traction control come that's trying to fight for traction. Wow. Damn, that thing was spinning. Woo. See what a first gear feels. Once it's straightened up, I don't want to do anything around the, the um, corners. Wow. All right, guys, that's it for today, man. Feels good. Car feels good. Feels much better with the um, with the vertical links. I got no, absolutely no wheel hop. Um, car feels planted, actually. So I'm definitely going to do. Uh, more suspension upgrade and I want to do um, the way I'm doing it I'm doing one um, I'm doing one upgrade at a time because you don't want to do too much and you don't know what's working and what's not working if you get if you, I kind of understand what I'm trying to say I don't want to go out and spend a bunch of money and buy this buy that buy like 10 things and put on a car and I don't know what is making a difference. So each modification I do to the car is gonna be one modification at a time. So I could tell the difference on what's working and what's not working. So installing the vertical links makes a big difference. Installing the iBox springs made a big difference on the wheel hop also. But overall now with the vertical links installed, it's that much better, I can't even talk. All right, so the next um, step I'm gonna do, I wanna do sway bars, um, and I'm gonna do, it's gonna be different steps, progression, and I'm taking my time with it, all right? And basically, I don't have the money to be doing 10 things at one time, so I have to take it one step at a time, all 
All right, guys, so like always, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you think about this video. It was helpful, helpful to you guys, all right? Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.